And our next guest obviously hope that does not happen. He is the first year manager of the Oakland A's, Mark Kotze, and he joins us now via ballpark cam here on MLB Central. Mark, we appreciate the time. First year manager, as I said, how's it going for you? What's the experience been like? Granted, small sample size, but what's it been like for you? Well, it's been great ever uh, since the first day I got hired here um, and just my history here with the Oakland Athletics. Uh, you know, it's it's an exciting journey. Um, I have a lot of relationships in this organization that if uh, – helped me uh, through especially this first uh, 13 days uh, in season. But, uh, you know, credit to my coaching staff, a credit to the front office. Um, you know, we're, we're all right right now. Mark, D. Rose says he's coaching his son, 12 and under. He says there's so much more that goes into it than you think when you're sitting in that seat. Have you found that? What surprised <laughs> you most? Yeah, d -Row, you know, uh, what's great about that comment is they asked me had I ever managed a team before, and I said my 12-year-old travel exactly. ball, my son's 12-year-old exactly. travel ball. That's so. all you need. Yeah, same, same thing, right? I mean, you just, you just show up and throw the balls out and go play. Kotz, I want to jump off that. Like, when, when the manager light bulb go off for you? Uh, immediately, really. Really? Uh, you always uh, wanted to do it. Yeah, you know, when you play out there in center field, you see the game, you see the, uh, you know, you kind of think the game through, um, you know, from that standpoint, as, a, as I matured as a player, I really felt good about being a leader and, you know, leading by example. Um, and, you know, I had a lot of great players around me. I think you got one sitting next to you and Jake Peavy, right. uh, who, who was a young, you know, right-handed pitcher with the pods. So, um, but yeah, I think that journey started right away. I know you got a, a bunch of young guys wearing that A's jersey. Did they realize you were the best college player at Cal State Fullerton at, at one point in your life? Did, did, did they know that? I don't think so, Dero. Uh, that was a long time ago. But, you know, as you can tell, the, the hair, there's no hair. There's a lot of gray. Um, but, yeah, no, I appreciate it. You guys always talk about that. And that was a, a special time in my life. He was, um, oh, he yeah. was coming in, closing it out after going deep. Uh, absolutely. I mean, he, he was, was the dude. dude. No doubt. No uh, doubt. And Jake, you're obviously very familiar Kotz, with Kotz, okay, Kotz. <laughs> you look jacked. You look like you still could play, pal. What's the workout well, program you know, like you guys these are days? Taking a, yeah, you're taking away from my workout program. <laughs> uh, my bench coach, Brad Osmus, he's killing me. Uh, you know, Brad, Brad has a workout routine that we do together. Uh, Trevor Hoffman's a part of that group. Charlie Nagy's a part of that group in the offseason. And, and I thought it was done. I thought I'd show up and just, you know, kind of hang out with the coaches and – Brad's dragging me in that weight room every day, which which I'm actually thankful for. It's a good release, but, uh, you know, we're having fun here. Um, Ball Cup's playing pretty well, and uh, we've got a good group. We've got a good group of coaches. We've got a good group of players. Uh, you know, we have our, our adversity right now with uh, the COVID list. Uh, we've had some injuries, but uh, we're, we're really rolling through that right now. Yeah, Kotz, I have no doubt with what you're about, with, with knowing you as well as I do, with Osmus and the people you're surrounded with that the Oakland A's are going to play uh, indicative. Tony Kemp's play yesterday, I, I just immediately made a note and said that's indicative of the guy that they're playing for. What is the mindset? I know you guys aren't the favorite. I love the, the AL West. I think it's as, as deep. I love the fact that there's more teams in the playoffs. This team, I know without some guys, you're showing promise early. What is the mindset? What are you preaching to the guys? I know you can't talk about the guys that you lost. What are you preaching to the guys to stay the course and be in this thing long term? Yeah, I think that started in spring training, Jake. I think, you know, we found our identity towards the end. The group that was there uh, understands that, that we're going to fight, that, that our expectation is to win the day. Uh, you know, we're not here. Obviously, you do develop at the major league level, but, but we're here to win baseball games, and, and that's our first priority. So, you know, we've, we're going to fight. Uh, we want to be the team that uh, when you play us and we get done, whether we win or lose, that team on the other side, you know, recognizes that, that we fought, we gave everything we had, and, and, and it wasn't just, you know, you know, go out and, uh, and walk over somebody. So uh, I'm proud of my guys right now. They're playing with a lot of energy, a lot of passion, and, uh, and we're going to keep that going. Mark, uh, the man you replace, uh, Bob Melvin, obviously in San Diego now, but uh, what, what did you learn from him? What, what were some of the lessons that he imparted to you to get you ready for your first journey as a big league manager? Yeah, Bob and I uh, started that journey in 2016 when I came here as a bench coach. And, uh, you know, really the, the I think the biggest impact that Bob had was talking about, you know, handling the players and the relationships and being transparent. And, uh, you know, I think that's stuck. I think, you know, my time here in Oakland, I've, I've built a lot of relationships, uh, you know, not only with the front office, but with the coaching staff, guys like Mike Aldretti, Darren Bush, Scott Emerson, Marcus Jensen, Eric Martins, who are all on my staff and, you know, brought in Chris Crone and, and obviously Brad Osmus, 
Uh, Tommy Everidge up from uh, AAA is our hitting coach now. Well deserved, well earned, and, and I think that's what we talk about here in Oakland. We we uh, we like to promote within. We we like to uh, you know we value loyalty, and and I think that's as you guys know that's what we're what we're about. All right, Cots, I got one for you. When the bullets are flying, right mid game, what in the manager's chair has been the toughest thing to get used to? I'll throw it back to last weekend ma managing my kids' team. <laughs> It happens fast if your starter doesn't have it, and I don't have anybody getting loose. So is it is it like running a bullpen? Is it what what have you found to be the or is it off the field stuff? You know, I, I, you never realize the magnitude of the position until you get in it. And on a staff, you know, you have your lane, you have your priorities. If you're, you know, last year for me, I was a, a infield coach, I was a third base coach, um, and now as a manager, you, you find yourself dealing with not just being able to go out and coach, but you're dealing with a lot of, uh, you know, outside distractions, uh, which is welcomed. I, you know, I love that. I love communicating. We talk about communicating, collaborating, uh, building trust here, and uh, and I think, you know. Dero, the, the bullpen stuff, it does happen quick. Uh, spending time up in, you know, as a special assistant in San Diego and then uh, my quality control role. When you sit up in that booth, uh, you got some time to think about those decisions and you're not really involved in the pitch to pitch. And when you get in the dugout, it's pitch to pitch. So yeah. things speed up. I think, you know, the biggest challenge is just getting ahead of those decisions, thinking out, you know, uh, beyond just, uh, you know, the out in front of you. So what'd you have for breakfast? I haven't eaten yet. I got here and went straight down here. So we got a 12:30 game. We're getting ready. Um, I think it'll be oatmeal, probably Dero, if that sounds good and all right with you. Okay, a little brown sugar. We go fruit. Oh, definitely brown sugar, fruit, and then if there's donuts in there like yesterday, <laughs> we'll, we'll probably crush a donut. Well, glazed, <laughs> glazed, or what? Playing for Sprinkles? the tie. <laughs> Remember, Hope be taking a bite of sure. all the donuts. <laughs> Oh. I do, Pete. You had to beat Hoffy to the field, right? You had to beat him to the field or you wouldn't get a donut. That's for sure. Uh, this God, afternoon, awesome. it's the Orioles and the Oakland A's afternoon game at Oakland Coliseum. Mark, we appreciate the time. Congratulations on getting the job with the Oakland A's, and good luck to you the rest of the way. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate having me on. Thanks, Cots. Okay, Cots.